Hey everybody, it's Jason Cree on this Align Care Live. Today I'm gonna try to put my string trimmer skills to the test by creating a clean edge around a tree ring, around a grass line, and show you how to edge with a string trimmer. And this is one of the things that I, when sometimes people say, hey, if you're gonna edge, use an edger. Well, I think it's worth learning how to do it with a string trimmer because in this particular situation, there, uh, you know, an edger, of course, is great when you're doing a sidewalk or driveway, but I don't think an edger is as good as a string trimmer when you're out there in the lawn, edging a flower bed, edging a tree ring or something like that. So I'm gonna try to see if I can make this uh, shape up and show you how, how I do it, and then I'll kind of give you a little how-to on, on exactly the technique I use. Let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how real quick. Now, I've done this in other videos, but if you may not have watched those videos, so this is a, a trimmer here, and I'm, if you're just trimming here, and I flip it upside down, just like that, and then I'm gonna use my thumb on the trigger. So you can see here where I've, I've got my thumb on the trigger, so I'm holding it right here, normal position, and then flip it upside down. And then I'm just trying to get that line uh, you know as perpendicular to the ground as possible so that's that's kind of the technique I use you can also hold it up on your shoulder right here I see people do that I just kind of prefer going right here and then flipping it and then going right here so what I'm gonna do this is some sod and that that line is not perfectly straight just to be honest with you and I'm not gonna make it perfectly straight but I do want to go ahead and trim it and then you see around the bottom of those trees over there, I'm wanting to trace that out and make some really nice clean edges. Now the sod is not perfectly in a straight line. I'm not gonna fix that with a string trimmer, but I do want to just show you how to make clean edges with it. And then over here, you can see how the, the sod has actually been staggered. I'm gonna trace that more as a skills challenge than anything, uh, just to see if I can trace that and make some nice clean lines. So let's get started and see how well I do on my edging. I want to admit you, I, I'm not, I don't have a guard on the trimmer. That's my preference. You, it's obviously uh, safer to use a guard, so I'd recommend you keep your guard on if you feel in danger. But, Let's see how I did. Again, it's not going to be perfectly straight. That's because the side wasn't straight. But I think that's a fairly clean edge. I could certainly live with that if that was a flower bed. Some grass types are easier than others, no doubt. So let's continue practicing. Again, we want to make sure you know which way the uh, trimmer head is spinning, which way you're going to be throwing the debris. I tell people, you know, if you got a $100,000 Tesla behind you, you probably want to throw the grass in the opposite direction because you certainly can break windshields and put chips in the paint, things like that.
think sometimes people say too, hey, don't walk backwards, walk forwards. It's easier to walk forwards and backwards. Well, in that situation, I needed to throw the debris in one direction to keep from throwing it at the camera person, and I didn't want to stand in the ditch. So in that situation, you know, I, I just say be adaptable. You know, if you can walk forward, walk forward. But sometimes you might need to walk backwards. Sometimes you might need to stand on the grass side or on the sidewalk side, or you know, just. Just adjust, it's not that big deal. Don't be so dogmatic. You have to do it the same way every single time. couple other tips you don't have to to use this thing max power to trim it's not that big a deal so and then you want to I kind of like the line a little bit longer and you're basically just cutting it with the very tip of the line so you're not trying to dig a ditch with it you just use the tip to do your actual trimming I'm gonna try to clean up this tree ring here again it's not a perfect uh, square around you see where the side was not laid perfectly square I'm not gonna fix that with a trimmer that probably needs to be fixed with a shovel but I want to at least take the lines that are already existing and clean them up I kind of debated on whether I wanted to let this grass grow up and spread around the trees or keep it edged out and maybe put some mulch or pine straw in there and I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna keep it edged and put some mulch or pine straw. We just hadn't done that yet. And on this other area that I was trimming on the outside, I'll probably eventually just let that grass spread. I was just trimming it today, mostly for demonstration purposes. Okay, so the string trimmer is probably not the tool I need to actually make that a perfectly straight line. Ideally, that would have been done when the sod was laid. But how well did I do at cleaning up the lines that were already here? And I think I did a fairly decent job and hopefully demonstrated. Again, I'll probably let this start spreading and just keep running down towards this ditch and hopefully fill in some of these weedy areas with some nice zoysia sod if it'll do so. But the point of this video was to try to show you nice clean edges. I'll see how I did on this staggered area here. A little bit challenging on some of these areas. If you're new to this, you can use these same techniques, edging a driveway, a flower bed, sidewalk, whatever. I mean, it, it works the same kind of situation. You can walk forward, backwards. Obviously, most people are more comfortable walking forwards, but depending on the situation, depending on which way you need to throw the debris, you may have to change that up. I've got some more detailed videos on how to edge sidewalks and driveways. I can put a link to those if you want to check those out popping up on your screen now. Jason Crew, I've got over 500 lawn care videos. I'd encourage you to subscribe to the channel. If you're in a lawn business, go over to lawncarelife.com and check out the resources available for you there. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later. Bye.